hates me. There's a full moon coming up in um, a day. So it's the warm moon. It's for um, March of this month. So let's see what they want to say to you at this time. So I pulled up some cards and I got the uh, blue moon. And it says, believe in the impossible. So yeah, blue moon. <laughs> it's a very rare full moon. Um, so something impossible is going to happen. And then uh, I pulled another, another card. And it says sun, the sun, and then it says number one, so you have the magician. But this talks about the sun, spirit, so this could be um, something that makes you happy. Um, so, and then I pulled out another card, and I got the starfish. And it's like, I'm seeing a star, like, you know, so this could be, um, and then when I pulled out the... Um, tarot deck the sun came out number 19 and it says um big mama so basically whatever makes you happy so i'm getting like the moon the sun and the star and then the sun came out again in the tarot deck so that's <laughs> and and then the magician came out as well in the other tarot deck number one so it's like the magician is making all this happen. It's making all this happen to make things right and to balance things. So, yeah, believe in the impossible because there's going to be a full moon coming up, um, even though it's a warm moon. But, yeah, something impossible is going to happen. Something rare. And it involves the moon, the sun, and the star. So your animal um, spirit guide could be a starfish or something is important or significant about the star. Um, and then Big Mama came out and sun. So it's, yeah, whatever makes you happy. So they're all connected in some way. So it's basically whatever makes you happy and things will be balanced. They'll be made right. And then... Uh, the hangman number 12 Pisces <clears throat> so you're gonna have to sacrifice something let something go to gain something better whatever makes you happy and yeah trust your intuition with the boon and there's a full moon coming up and that's gonna guide you and lead you to what makes you happy <clears throat> And that is also going to lead you into um, either becoming a star or discovering who you really are. And you could be a star seed or stardust, whatever that means. And this is going to be victory. You have clarity. And new love coming in. Huh. Interesting. And so this new love could be a new passion of yours. Um, because you have clarity, you could be a potential... Um, Queen of Swords, so yeah, potential, that's your potential to get clarity, and um, <clears throat> the King of Cups, yeah, that's going to make you happy. Whatever makes you happy and balanced, that is your potential. Um, you could become the King of Cups, if you know what makes you happy. Oh, look at that, you have um, a match here. You have the Daughter of Knives. And the Son of Knives. So that would be um, a future Queen and King of Swords. So future. So that would be um, Aquarius and Libra. Future Queen and King of Swords. So clarity, good judgment and all that. Oh. 
Oh, and you're going to be very happy. Oh, my God. Look at that. Ten of cups. Ten of baskets. Yeah, you're going to be happy. So believe in the impossible because you are being led to make you, what makes you happy. The sun. Whatever that is. Whatever that means to you. Whatever makes you happy. That's what makes you happy. That's your sun. That is your spirit. And your support system. You have the daughter of coins. So a few uh, potential queen of pentacles. And yeah, your burdens will be released. Once you figure out how things are, and once you figure out what's going on, you're going to be able to have more clarity. And you will also find out what you are and what you're supposed to be doing while you're here. Yep. And whoever is getting in the way of your path or blocking you from reaching your path, completing it, um, are going to get judgment. Number 20, Scorpio. Yes. Number two, trust your intuition. High Priestess. And because this is going to lead you to hope. So, yeah. You need to believe in the possible because there's, it's like you haven't, you don't even know how things really are until you've figured it out on your own. That's what I'm hearing. So there are four signs or cards that came out. King of Cups, uh, Cancer, Judgment, number 20, Scorpio, Ten of Cups, Happiness, Fulfillment, and number two, High Priestess, uh, Cancer again. So Cancer uh, is significant. So there's a lot of water sign energy here. Um, the King of Cups, the High Priestess, yeah. And the Ten of Cups. Plus, you have Scorpio Judgment. So there's a lot of um, emotions here. Water energy, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I did see uh, the Hangman. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, water energy here. So, um, what I'm getting is that believe in the impossible because... Things will work out how they're supposed to be. There's a full moon coming up. It's a warm moon, but you need to believe in the impossible. So there's blue moon energy here. And then that will lead you to what makes you happy, the sun. And that is also going to guide you, your intuition, the star, or your animal spirit, the starfish. And yeah... Because of that, those who are trying to oppose you will be judged. They're going to get judgment so that you will be happy. So you need to trust your intuition because that's going to, that's going to help you become more balanced how you're supposed to be. How would that make sense? So I hope this has helped you in some way and I will talk to you again soon.